Today we are absolutely stunned by the beauty of Valencia. I think she means Valencia. And who of course would be silly enough to attempt these stairs in flip-flops? Me apparently. We also have some fun by the pool and a very comical silent disco. But wait, have you checked out our last vlog yet? Where well, we embark the ship and you can hear our first impressions. It's now 2.20 in the morning. So it's come to this. Alka Seltzers. We are so tired. <laughs> yeah, we partied too hard last night. We got back about, well, we went to bed at quarter to three and we've been up since five, obviously, to get the flight. So we're shattered, because we're stupid. We were sitting in Eden about 11ish thinking, oh, we're we'll probably going to bed soon. Maybe head to the <laughs> club for one or two. And um, yeah, that never happened. Nope. So we bumped into a nice guy from San Francisco. It was um, chatting with him and dancing and drinking and yeah, now it's, now we've got to have the dreaded Alka Seltzer. How do you feel? So I look like, I look like a bloody wreck. I look like a Kraken. <laughs> you would say that. I know. There's the Alka Seltzer, yeah. Bubbling mm. away. Cheers. <laughs> uh, if you've ever done these, they're disgusting, but they're the best thing in the world if you're a bit ropey the next right, day. Let's go down. Right. Let's hope not sick. Oh. That is absolutely rank. It is rank. But it is a godsend for any alcoholics out there like us. <laughs> now <laughs> we're crazy. What are we doing? We're going to the gym. We're going to the gym on our first morning on board. He's not even fighting me today. No. She literally like just woke up and I was like, gym? She's like, okay. Last night it was really funny because I was like, I'm not going to the gym tomorrow because it was like 3 a.m. I was like, I'm not going to the gym. And Nathan was like, okay, accept it. I'm actually going. And I'm wearing a Royal Caribbean. Top. Which is quite apt because we're on a celebrity cruise, which Royal Caribbean happens. So yeah, so it's she's not advertising like, the brand. So it's not like Nathan going on every cruise with a Morena Cruises strap yeah. every time. We Morena won it cruises. once on a Morena Cruise, and I've kept it ever since. But it's so handy because <laughs> it just makes your baggage stand out. Yeah. <laughs> so I just noticed something. We have here some filet prime water, and at the bottom, I'm not sure you can see this very well. It says arsenic. Absent. I should bloody hope so. It's water. I didn't ask for a bottle of ab um not absinthe, arsenic. Oh, I have a bottle of poisoning, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> bloody arsenic absent. How ridiculous. Okay, we'll from the in between us. Fine. Fine. So we've been to the gym. We've been to the gym. We've got yep. changed. Yeah. And now we're going to head up to the Ocean View Caf for we breakfast. We've word. We've word. Yeah. We've uh, worked up an appetite. We've worked up an appetite. Now yeah. we're going to get a bit peckish. We're going to get some breakfast at the buffet, and then we're going to head off the ship to Valencia, as they say in Spain. Valencia. Valencia. And see what's going on, see what's occurring. Yeah. Go on an adventure. Go on an adventure. Yes! Dicky Bond. So, omelette, du fromage. Omelette, du fromage. Omelette, du fromage, and Oh, there's mushrooms in there as well. Like you, should, you see, right out of them. I've got a little bonus then. So I've got bacon, cheese, and mushrooms apparently. Nice. And a chicken sausage. The extra chickenness. Chickenness. I have a bit of fruit, bagels, and soaked salmon. With some cream cheese. I can't get over the choice on their ship so far. There's so much choice for breakfast. Like, yeah. There's so much choice. I feel like a kid in a candy store. She looked like it earlier. Candy man! It's a land of sweets and joy. Okay, time to go. It was really handy to be able to grab some water before getting off the ship. Bit of a dilemma, really. Yeah, we're debating what to do because there's two buses. There's a free shuttle bus which takes us to the gate, but apparently it's about an hour's walk into the city from there. Or we can get a bus for 10 euros return each which is about a 30, 40 minute drive to the city. I really don't know. There'll probably be more to see in the city. Should we just go to the city? We could do. 
I was a bit scared though, because I'm not, because it says it's like local bus, but I guess it is kind of here, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it seems quite organised. So yeah. just to update you guys, but we were going to get the free complimentary shuttle bus to the terminal, but we've now decided to go for the city centre yeah. bus for 10 euros per person, and that's for a return ticket. We thought that was quite reasonable, so we just hopped on for the fun of it, and you now know, we're going to Valencia. We're on our holidays, you know. We're yeah. on holidays. We're... Let's spend 20 quid to go on, go to the Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We're going to look, explore there, take some videos and pictures and stuff, and yeah, see so it goes. Yeah. We shall see you on the other side. <laughs> Very cute. That didn't take us long, did it? No, it took us about just over 20 minutes from yeah. the ship to here. Yeah. And they've just do um, docked us. They just dropped us off next to this really beautiful park. We should probably have a little wander over a little bit. See what's occurring. Right, let's go. Let's go explore Valencia. Doggy. Where? I don't see a dog. Oh. Doggy. There's a chocolate lab. <laughs> I don't know if you know or see this, there's a giant gorilla. There's an escaped gorilla on the streets of Valencia. We came across this old fortress so wandered a bit nearer to have a little nose. This fortress was called Torres de Sarand and played a key role during the Spanish Civil War. It's brown. It was 130 something steps. How are you feeling fit, baby? But you wish you wore um, trainers now. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. It's not Santorini all over again, is it? No, it's not Santorini. It's just here some donkeys running down to save your life again. Yeah, a donkey saved my life in Santorini, guys. It never happened, she's imagined that. No, he did. Let's just see if the enemies approach him. It was restricted. <laughs> Should we go up some more? Yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs> This is really high. We're not even at the top yet. I oh, know, we're not even at the top yet, I think. This is stunning. And we hit the top. Wow. Look how high we are. We are very high. We've climbed up <laughs> 100. How many steps? 130, 138 steps, or that? God, this. I don't think you realise how big this was until we get to the top. Yeah, I think we need to take a bit of a. Juggy. Is it doggy? Where, 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 where? Down there on the lead. This is like a fox. Oh. Look at them. I'm not even doing, um, I haven't to go one at a time because, yeah, I'm not doing that. It's a bit too <laughs> steep otherwise. It is so pretty here. It is very pretty here, I must say. It's better than I thought it would be actually. I know Valencia is a big city. We made the right choice. By... We made the right choice for picking the city shuttle. Like we've been up the top of the vault yeah. thing that was used in the Spanish Civil War. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 132 steps of it. Oh. We got there. It was quite scary coming down though. I generally thought I was going to die. Here we have Amy. Being very careful down the steps. I'm going to die. Yeah, it's it's very steep. And she's wearing Philippe Philops. And she's very accident prone, so... Yeah, because Amy's wearing flip flops, so yeah. she thought that was a good idea. I didn't know that we were going to explore a castle. He didn't do there, he didn't. <laughs> it's very nice here so far, having a really good time. Yeah. Nice little wander about, it's gorgeous weather, it's got mm -hmm. a lovely blue sky. Okay. Fish. Woohoo! Every, every corner we turn... There's something even prettier. There's something prettier everywhere. Now it's got this little garden. Garden? This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is this is so much better than I thought it was going to be, I'm not going to lie. Like, this city is beautiful. That, that literally looks a bit like the uh, Coliseum. Yeah, very kind of spot, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. absolutely stunning here. That fountain is lovely. Yeah. This is the Raja of Italy as well, like with the Trevi fountain, but obviously not quite as grand. Yeah. But it's just really pretty. Yeah. 
it's just done it. I'm so glad that we did this. Yeah, I'm so glad we did this. That was 20 euros overall, it's definitely worth it, I think. Definitely. It was less, much less than what the excursions cost on board. Yeah. We'll talk about that another day. Uh-huh. I'm not going to lie, I could really do with a swim right now. Oh, I could actually, I could do a cocktail. Yeah. And just to dip my... I kind of want to go in that thing right now. But you oh. cannot. I you're banned, wanna... you're banished. Aww. Are you liking Valencia? Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, it's so pretty. Is it one of your favourite Spanish places you've been to now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There were all these young girls dressed up in very old fashioned Spanish attire. And it was absolutely beautiful to see. <laughs> so now we're about to head into the park. It's near where we got dropped off. We thought we'd come in here for a little wander. There's loads of dogs here, which is cool. Is it not? Oh, perhaps this isn't the park. See, we're making mistakes, guys. I'm blaming Amy. <laughs> She was the one leading, I'm the one recording. It probably is my fault. She's the, she's the navigator. Everything's my fault. And I am the filmer on this occasion, so I'm blaming her. To be fair, right? Yeah. I'm always the one that normally films. You are, to be fair. He's afraid of the GoPro. I'm not afraid, it's just she is better at filming than I am. So it makes sense for Amy to do it, because my I always chop people's heads off and legs off and bodies off. He's but, the um, brains though. Yeah, I, I do all the uploading and stuff. After yeah. Amy started the editing. Yeah. So yeah, I, I have a hard job. But he but he gets the deals. He yeah. finds all the information. This is true, this is true. I am the I'm the researcher. He plans our day. I plan our day, yeah. Normally. Try to. Let's he, see how it goes. Oh. He's the intelligence, I'm the artist. <laughs> so we just come back from Valencia. We just come back from Valencia. We've met this really nice couple from England as well. Yeah, uh, they just... were they were literally sitting behind us on the no sorry in front of us on the coach. Yeah, we were chatting to the queue, weren't we? Yeah, and uh, we as we were coming back on the ship... They were following us. And we were like, are you <laughs> no following <way>. us? <laughs> and they literally just down, down the hall from us and they let us see their... Uh, Infinite back. balcony cabin, which yeah. is really lovely, actually. But it's in size terms, I mean, it's maybe the, slightly bigger? Only slightly, like, it's deeper, with maybe. Is, with the... I don't think it looked that bad. No, we didn't, we didn't and, they were, it, but... and they came and just came into our one just to check ours out see yeah. what it looked like and they were quite impressed with the size yeah. so um yeah it's quite nice I, I i really like this interior state room yeah so um I'm yeah it's quite cool we had quite a good time for lens didn't we baby yeah we had a lovely time yeah, we had about what a 25 minute wait Coming for the back. return coach it was quite busy it was very busy on the way back there was a big queue and we were really lucky because we got on the first coach. Yes, which is quite good. But a second lot of people probably what? had to wait in like probably an hour. Yeah, because they were there just after us. So, so we, we timed it really we well. We timed it just right to get back in time. I felt sorry for the people yeah. behind us though, annoyingly. Bus wankers! But now we are going to go to the pool. Yeah, we're going to go to the pool, get a few drinks, have a little a relax, lunch. a bit of lunch, yeah. and then come back and get ready for tonight, I guess. Pool time! Time. <laughs> and then we're by the pool, as if by magic. <laughs> Not too shabby of you. <laughs> He's snorting it. And there were paint categories on the pool deck. And we'll be writing down as many answers as possible. Then it was time for some food. Get in my belly! For lunch, we both went for some tortilla wraps. I opted for the beef and Nathan went for the chicken. So, these, these nachos, right, they are better than the ones on Iona, which were extra charged. And this is the buffet. Really? Yeah. So, trying my beef and eating your chicken. Next time we go for the beef or the chicken, both. Both? Both. I would have the thicken <laughs> or chief. I like chief. So sort of combining the two meats together. Would beef. you mix it in one wrap? Yeah. You... yeah. Together, beef and chicken. Well, why wouldn't you? Okay. okay. The more meats the make, the more meats the merrier, I say. <laughs> They're both so like, why not have two of them? <laughs> Sam, I should be a chef. <laughs> what? No, you eat them. You don't. You can't make them. 
I can make beef. I just get a cow. We found um, this part of the back this morning, and just outside is it just at the end of the buffet. I think we're going to come here every day now because it's such a nice area. Mm. We got these lovely views up there. Mm. It's actually quite quiet as well a lot of the time. I don't think a lot of people come right to the back of the buffet, so I don't know exists. Yeah. We had a little wonder this morning. Just found it. We were like, wow. <laughs> Love it here. Like sort of dining out fresco, I love it. Mm. Rather than a busy buffet. Which to be fair, it's not manic in there, there's plenty of seats, but it's just nice to be outside, isn't it? We decided to enjoy a little bit of food. It's alright, one should <laughs> You can say that every time. No. Do not for me. <laughs> it's my octopus dance. Octopus dance. Yeah, I haven't got enough legs though. <laughs> You're a four octopus. I'm a fouropus. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, what's four? Quadrupus. A quadrupus. A quadrupus, that's what I am. Yeah. <laughs> While in the pool, we thought that we would partake in the Guests of the Year challenge. Who said it was? Sick I think. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think it was the 70s, but I don't know which year. And one of the guests decided to sing the entire song of Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> then a little bit of jacuzzi fun, just before it was time to get ready for the evening. Hi, and we are ready for night two. Night two, and we're gonna head out very soon. We're really happy, because there's a silent disco tonight. Yes, silent disco in the plaza tonight, so we're gonna be going there, hopefully. If anybody who has seen any of our other vlogs knows how much we like a silent disco. We love a silent disco. We love a party. We love, oh, ow. <laughs> I like, uh, my uh, thing just dropped my foot. Ow, that really hurt. All right, I've recovered. I've recovered. She's recovered. I'm not dead. So we are heading up to the magic carpet. If we can get in, because yeah. it's pretty monarch. <laughs> hey, Venable. Here we go. Then it was time for the theatre. A comedian called Al Ducham. Stay to the end to find out what we thought of him. After the theatre, we wanted to go and get some dinner, though we did have to wait about 30 minutes, so we sat in Cafe Albaccio. Tonight, we dined at the Cosmopolitan restaurant, the American-themed restaurant on board. Was that your American accent? Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> I think you're in Delulu land. No, I told you earlier, I'm in the Cosmopolitan restaurant tonight. Just like last night, we started off with some amazing bread and some delicious dips to complement it. I went for the yellow soup, the yellow corn soup. And I went for the cauliflower flan. I needed to get some steak inside me, however I did regret it because Nathan's stuffed portobello mushroom was a lot better. And for a change, we actually went for some dessert, Nathan. Mm. I had some ice cream. I know, boring, but I just like ice cream. And I went for the apple crumble with ice cream. And now it's time for the silent disco. And for some reason, Nathan forgot how to use words. Ah! Ice cream the blues very shoes. We absolutely loved the silent disco. As you can see though, it was a really busy event here tonight. So busy that we were stuck in a corner that had quite heavy traffic. Oh, I turned it off. I don't know the word. Come on, it's on you. You better shape up. You can understand. Don't you? 
Jason joined us. Oh, where did Amy go? See you later, see you later. It's been Jim Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's the men. <laughs> you guys just want to be the center of stage. <laughs> I love that song. You might meet a stranger. And then it was back to the club where we belong. And we were even joined by one of the diva performers, Ruby. Killing me. Then we went for a late night stroll before settling in for the night. Oh my god. At you want to jump through them. <laughs> I dare ya. Sonic or something. I dare ya. Go on. Chair to chair. <laughs> I'll do it if you will. That's quite a leap, right? You can do it in your heels. Are you drunk? I think you're drunk, aren't you? I'm quite drunk. <laughs> Are you a butterfly? <laughs> um, so what did we think of the comedian? His name was Al Duchamp or something like that. He's apparently been on America's Got Talent, loved by Simon Cowell, apparently. What do you think of him, Amy? I wasn't a fan. He's just not to my taste, I'd say. Yeah, I think it just wasn't to our taste, really. Yeah, it just wasn't really our cup of tea, but yeah. so... I mean, but, you know. other people liked him, so don't yeah. go by just us. No, everyone has their own opinion, everyone likes different things, and he just wasn't for us, so... Tomorrow we are in Ibiza, and we spend the day on the beach. And what is this weird thing floating in the sea? We see some amazing performances, and how much cheese? So until next time... Wondering what bars and lounges are on Celebrity Edge? Well, we got you. Go to this video. Next. Boom Shankar. See you there.